Hi, this is Andrew the 90s FIFA kid, and today it's time for our next 9FK player review. So we would be doing a cheap buy in the foot market as suggested by Srinivas and also we had one more requester coming in over there that was Shashank. So for both of you guys, I would be doing this review since we do not have anything right now in objective players. Most of my reviews were there for the players in the objective sections. So I think these are really good players in terms of cheap buy when it comes to foot market and you, whenever your standing is there as a gold player, you would always like to invest your money in cheap buys that can give you a maximum output in field. So let's quickly jump to Costas Manulis. Now let's check out some of his attributes. So when it comes to height, it's 189 centimeter. So again, uh, the agility factor might drop down. The skill moves to weak foot two again i would not say that's a bad stat because he is a center back it does matter when it comes to players of high caliber now let us check out his player work rate his player work rate is attacking low defensive high so even if it's attacking work rate is low it would not hinder your game or your infield attributes of this player because he would be a decent player even if it comes to low attacking work rate but defensively it's high that seems good to go preferred foot is right but nowhere in the match i would suggest you to go ahead and make the shoot with costas manolas because even the easiest of easiest of shoots from inside the penalty areas can just drop away and get sidelined so that's one thing that i would like to mention over here when it comes to attribute When it comes to attributes, this player looks a killer card in terms of the coins you spend on him and uh, his acceleration is 90, shooting 35. I don't think we would be looking at that attribute much. Passing 67 <clears throat> does not seem bad man. The only good part over here is the short pass and long pass. That's really important for a center back and both of them is 95 and 97. I'm really excited to get this card on field and check out how does he perform in field his dribbling is 78 as he said that his height do matter so dribbling again drops down with the 189 centimeter so now the defending portion we have interception 95 standing tackle is 96 currently the card is on basic sliding tackle is already 98 i mean these are some superb superb fantastic attributes or stats to look at when it comes to a center back Traits dives into a tackle. I mean, this is one of those attributes which I always look into a player before purchasing him. Let it be Arthur Vidal as a holding CDM. Let it be Maldini. So this stat is really this this stat is something you should actually look at when you are purchasing or getting a centre back because this really matters. For because us. now I will show you some important thing. Now when we compare Costas Manolas to Maldini. Player work rate medium high so how how good would be costas manolas in field to maldini i would say when it comes to meta cards when it comes to iconic cards i think there will be no comparison but he would be definitely a decent player on pitch which would serve the purpose of your defending he would make those tackles but at the same time you cannot be 100 percent reliable you will not have that confidence when you play with maldini and at the other hand you play with costas manolas i have tried these cards out when i had them on loan so uh, if you do not draw comparison yeah definitely for a gold player like me like you like most of us costas manolas would be a really good buy in the market and since today is wednesday i would be going ahead with my main squad who's it who's our review opponent it's va007 okay i mean that's a really good squad man and we need to defend against Jovic, Kubo, Vidal, Modric and uh, Garincha, the lone player which is available in the season's objective. So let's see guys how it works out for us. Again, it's a completely defensive game. I'm and going to ultra defensive and we would be defending more and attacking less. Football. At the end, Santiago if we nudge the win, that's absolutely fine. Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is a rivals game to look forward to. This ought to be a fantastic watch, Lee. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one.
Costas Manolas in field for you. Formation, Derek, 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. A special occasion merits a special mention. Ronaldo, opportunity it is. We won up. It's 12 minutes into the game. Well, you always want to start quickly in this basic agenda today for this What's game would be defending well, to our main center backs back and covering and up the defense closing all the gaps in the defense two, in the end it's a wonderful solo goal so the match has restarted one nil here mark over mars cristiano ronaldo well, you've got to savor such moments. Dangerous looking through ball. Nani. Okay, just missed it, man. That should have been in. Well, just look at him. He thinks it's in just wide. And played short. And played in. The keeper needed all his time to keep it It's a good header from him. Clear the ball. Goalkeeper ticked all the boxes there. Modric. Now Eder Meritao. Mendy. The best part I would still like to mention that Vidal covers his marker, his positioning very, very, very well as a CDM. Modric. If you are played with this card, I think he is a really killer card. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Look at Modric. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Well, he took care of it defensively. We missed the marker the and he scores. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. So a level contest. Job then. Over Mars. Now can he deliver accurately? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Crossing opportunity. This guy looks good, man. Garincha. Dealing with the threat that was real. Have the official word. There will be tremendous. Okay, that's offside. Now well, just couldn't keep himself onside. is Vidal and Jovic now and so we are half time and it seems to be a Burnaby. quite balanced game they were not so much uh, of attack from his side we covered the field well the positioning was so good far, you think, the clearance for Manolis well, was good and goals, the most important thing is his markers I think he seems to be quite decent when it comes to his defending positioning and I still need to check well, out a lot from this on card we've seen so one far. two games would not tell begins. me much about him Costas Manolas. The speed looks good man as a center back he's oh my goodness. that's a really good trade man just look at how he's positioning himself back Ronaldo. Ronaldo! And the German goal. Here's Garincha. Cristiano Ronaldo. The attacking this guy is really good with his speed, man. A sloppy pass. Looks promising, this. Perfect good, man. That's, that's really good. I think one tackle was enough to get oh, the ball. Perfectly timed pass. Maneuvering his way forward. Possibilities here. Okay, that was a really simple goal. Up in the air from Drogba's feet to Ronaldo's feet and straight into the net. The positioning of Manolas is very prominent, man. And I have put him aside, Adam Militao. Adam Militao is a beast in defending. And uh, 
Parallelly, this guy is really doing well in terms of his positioning, in terms of his speed. It's going on really well, guys. Oh man, what are we trying to do, man? Take the ball, take the ball. Come on, bring in some good attacks. Far from a good pass. I said good attacks, man. Just That's offside. Inside. Trippier. Over bars. The ball with Luka Modric. Vidal. Modric. Drogba. We are going to take a shot if this goes. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Vidal is a long shot taker. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's an example of how you should do it. Samuel Umtiti. Now they've lost it. Ronaldo. Here's Modric. Can he take the chance? Oh my goodness, did Ronaldo miss from that distance? It's unbelievable, man. That should have gone in. Yeah, 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 man. Marvadas, Kubo. That's a good goal. Lots of goals, two apiece. Now look at that absolutely awful effort, and it's a matter of what occurs. My players in the are high on weed right now. They are doing whatever they want to man. Vidal. Arturo Vidal. Vidal passing, but losing out in that battle of wits. Uh, I knew that was too far for him. Costas Manolas. Drogba. Modric. Nothing wrong with that idea. That's a penalty. That's a penalty, man. And what an opportunity for them perhaps to win it. And the penalty Straight into the net. And we get the win. I think there's no coming back from here. It's been a quite balanced game, and uh, we'll see it again here. Derek looks but easy, again, there were not many attacks from him. But uh, the presence of the player in his markers and his positioning has been really prominent for me. And when you invest only 55,000 in the player and you get that kind of player, that's really good, man. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. This guy is gone crazy, man. All out attack. Say hi to Manolas. Kind of That's a review defender. player, guys. And only two minutes remaining here to put the issue beyond all doubt. Let's try an overhead. And okay, and it's Manolas with a superb, superb into the net. This guy has impressed me really well, man. I mean, by the end of 90 minutes, we see him everywhere on the field. I never thought of scoring with him, but headers. I um, mean, totally. We did not even intend to pass. Oh, we passed the ball to Ronaldo, but he just got into the way, and that was brilliant, brilliant a total delivery. AI. And this is as good as it gets. What a header! So the current scoreline: four-two. So that's 90 minutes, and that's Costas Manolas, and he has been. A really impressive card in terms of centre back. I would not say a caliber of Maldini in terms of his stat, but definitely one of the best buy in the foot market for this investment. 
and uh, if you had that much of coins and if you're looking for a really good buy in the market i think this guy is going to please you this this, this is the man who's going to actually please you the only one drawback would be his stamina he is not someone who would be that energetic till 90 minutes of a drained out or a sweaty game but yeah definitely he would give you that balance so i would go ahead i would play a few more games and then I would share my final rating on Costas Manolas. I would definitely say a cheap buy solution and one of the best players to invest in the foot market in that amount of money. So that's all for today and uh, I hope Shashank uh, this adds a little bit of value to you. I would be playing a few more games and then give them a final rating. Weekend league is arriving and there is going to be a lot of investment in a foot coins. So all the best guys and thank you so much for watching my videos, liking it and supporting it. That's me, Andrew, the 90s FIFA kid, signing off. Take care, bye-bye.